What's good, YouTube? It's Most Titan. Today, we're going to talk about how Tuka became the most disrespected person in rap history. If you listen to any type of Chicago rap, you probably heard the name before. And if you clicked on this video, I'm assuming you're in the same boat I was in, wondering why they dissed this man so much. So I did my research, and the answer even crazier than I expected. I'm really not trying to make another video like this because it's kind of dark and I didn't realize that until I was halfway done with it and I wasn't trying to scrap it. But if you like these type of videos, drop a like. If you're new here, subscribe. Follow my Instagram. The link's in the description. We about to be the new academics. I just made it and I haven't posted on there yet, but I'm about to start soon. And feel free to shoot me a DM, but I'm most sides and let's get right into the video. What really sparked me to make this video is this. I'm sitting, chilling, then I come across King Vaughn late as this. I didn't know who Tuka was and King Vaughn was talking crazy. This nigga said, when I die, find Tuka ass and I'ma beat him up. So I googled him. Tuka was a 15 year old kid who got shot at a bus stop and he's been dead for nine years. We gonna get more into that story later, but it really got me thinking. Man, what did he do to make them niggas that mad? To fully understand this story, you gotta understand what type of environment these niggas are living in. In Chicago, 80% of the murders go unresolved. The type of shit these niggas on, you would think they in Afghanistan, but they in Chicago. And this story takes place down by 64th and Martin Luther King Drive, better known as Old Block. The most dangerous street in Chicago, and one of the most dangerous streets in America. It's two main sets there, GDs, Gangster Disciples, and BDs, Black Disciples. And they've been raised ever since they were young to hate each other. <laughs> Shoot him. Shoot him Niggas like Lil Reese, Chief Keith, 600 Breezy, Lil Durk, and King Vaughn are all BDs. And they had crazy success, while their ops really had no big rappers. So when niggas out there talking crazy about GDs in their rap, there's no one that can say shit. And Chief Keith was the first one to do it and get crazy popular. We all know who Chief Keith is. Even if we haven't heard a song, we all heard the name. He got crazy popular during the Chicago drill wave in the 2010s and was dissing his ops like crazy. First time he dissed Tuka was in the song 300 and then the disses just started flowing in from there. Chief Keith kept dropping hits and in these hits he would drop disses. He even put out a full Tuka diss track. Keep in mind that the nigga was 15 when he died and the song was released 5 years afterwards. These Chicago niggas are a different breed. They was talking about smoking op pack. New op pack in the air, this gas or what? He'll still be alive right now if you niggas ain't gas him up. But the craziest thing is, smoking Tuka didn't even start out as a diss. Before Tupac died, he said he wanted his ashes smoked and his men did it. That after Tupac died, the outlaw smoked his ashes. Is that true? Yeah, it's definitely true. So the GDs started saying it about Tuka as a sign of respect, but then the BDs would mock them, and Chief Keith made it go crazy by putting it on all of his songs. He was always dissing his ops, and Lil Durk was doing it a little too. Like when he went to Tuka bus stop and said this. Hey, this bus stop right here though, this, this, this is a real famous place, you hear me? This is a real famous place, B. Hey, this bus stop, this is a real famous place, B. I ain't gonna laugh at you. But Chief Keith and Lil Durk later inspired niggas like King Vaughn, who took it to the next level, was doing the smartest, most disrespectful thing, just turning them niggas into a meme. King Vaughn will always talk about 63rd, which is partly the reason why he got so successful. King Vaughn said, Boy, we put in work from 64th and from 65th, we not from 63rd. If you enjoying the video so far, leave a like. But something else that's kind of crazy is that those streets are literally two minutes away from each other. I thought that shit was on the other side of the city. These niggas grew up hating each other and living two minutes away. But King Vaughn and Chief Keef got so popular that they have millions of people dissing Tuka and 63rd who don't even know what that is. But it wasn't just that. They also had other celebrities doing it, like Young and May. I smoke hookah like it's Tuka blowing jet clouds. And Ali Chopper. I'm gonna find this hookah, shorty. Mr. 3K, <clears throat> I mean, Quando Rondo. I'm saying though, they got 63rd niggas so Dirty ass, and way more rappers I'm not trying to squeeze in this video. All these rappers, except Quando, probably don't even know what it means. And two of his men were on these niggas' asses, saying that something would happen to them if they ever came to Chicago. And Younger May even apologized. I send my apologies to Tuka. I never knew who Tuka was. I'm going to say it again. I don't know who Tuka is. Never knew who he was. Just following this out the other day. My apologies. My meaning on it was some laugh. 
smoke. But this is another reason why Tuka name was so viral. His name is just so perfect for dissing. No disrespect, but it's so catchy. It's one syllable and it sounds like a strain. Nobody's gonna go around saying they smoking on Dave Vaughn, Daquan, Bennett Pack, but Tuka Pack. And now that we know all this information, let's get into what actually happened to Tuka. Tuka was clapped in retaliation for a person named Ty. Ty was a BD who allegedly tried to violate one of his ops. And when he died, Tuka's brother, Seaballs, who's currently locked up for aggravated battery with a firearm, was alleged to be the shooter. And Tuka was, depending on which version of the story you want to go with, clowning Ty on social media. So when Tuka was waiting at the bus stop, some niggas made a U-turn and hopped off the car. They asked him what time the next bus was coming, so he let his guard down and then fired shots. And rapper 600 Breezy even claims this happened. It really started with with the nigga Tuka like uh -huh. that when you had Keith and everybody Tuka Tuka he literally was smoking when he got shot right like, shot so many times his body was smoking so that's where that came from exactly yes. Tuka was beloved and after this they even renamed their set from St. Lawrence Boys to Tukaville and something that people may not know is Lil Mark was actually Tuka's brother he dropped one of the most disrespectful diss songs in drill history and was famously clapped three days later at another bus stop Chicago one crazy place but drop a like if you like this video if you're new or subscribed but that's it for this video I'm most sides and I'm out